as far as my favorite thing about flying the Raptor, unfortunately, I think the fav my favorite thing about flying the Raptor isn't what you saw at, at the air show today. Um, that, that's just, you know, about 20% of what the aircraft is really significantly above or and, and, and beyond anything that we have right now. My favorite thing about flying the aircraft is probably being up at, you know, 50,000 feet and Mach 1.5 and having the comfort of knowing that I see everybody and I know where everybody is and nobody sees me. I never plan to pull a whole lot of G's, but I, I pull more G's in that uh, profile than I'm than I normally do on a regular training sortie. But uh, you know, I'm I'm not a young guy anymore, so they they all hurt. But believe it or not, a lot of the uh, the really incredible incredible maneuvers that you saw, as far as the aircraft making tight turns and just you know moving its nose in the vertical. I'm actually at a very slow airspeed. So there aren't, there aren't a whole lot of G's on the aircraft, but um, they're all easy to fly, I can tell you that. It's just a matter of getting, getting the parameters set from the beginning. I don't really have complete command of the individual flight control surfaces. What I do as a pilot is I ask the jet to, you know, put or push, pull, roll left, roll right, or use the pedals to command yaw, but, um, you know, I, I basically, when I, when I push on the pedal to tell the aircraft that I want to yaw, it figures out the best combination of flight control surfaces to use to give me what I'm asking for. It's, so it's, the, the jet figures it all out. Sometimes it's the rudder, sometimes it's not, uh, but it all, it always works. So um, it's really an amazing maneuvering aircraft.